everyone. Welcome to 2021 Summer Juniper School season and enrichment. All right, everyone, please say hi to everyone right next to your person. All right, give you give you a maybe high five on the air. Hey, welcome back, welcome back. Thank you so much for your um, participation, willingness. I know you know some of you guys excited uh, to join. Uh, with your motivation and also some kids maybe uh, it's okay maybe because your parents or other reasons but welcome and any uh, reasons uh, you guys um, here at Juniper Christian School welcome and uh, we're gonna have a good time and a great time meaningful time and also the really exciting though you know program we're gonna have next 10 days all right today uh, before we get started I'd like to have a shared actually devotion all right Let's read uh, Genesis chapter 15, verse 1 to 6. It's a famous chapter. Sometime later, the Lord spoke to Abraham in a vision and said to him, Do not be afraid, Abraham, for I will protect you, and your reward will be great. But Abraham replied, O sovereign Lord, what good, what good are all your blessings when I don't even have, have a son? Since you've given me uh, no children, Eliezer of Damascus, a servant in my household, will inherit of all my wealth. You have given me no descendants of my own, so one of my servants will be my heir. Then Lord, the Lord said to him, No, your servant will not be your heir, for you will have a son of your own who will be your heir. Then the Lord took Abraham outside and said to him, Look up the sky, into the sky, and count the stars if you can. That's how many descendants you will have. And Abraham believed the Lord, and the Lord counted him as righteous because of his faith. Today, my devotion topic is dreams. Dreams. Um, this is my son, Joseph. He loves watching one of the ho famous Hollywood movies. It is called The Greatest Showman. This movie came out, uh, you may know some of you guys, um, 2000, uh, about 19, uh, 17, 2017. And uh, Hugh Jackman, you know, X-Man, is a famous person from Australia. And uh, he, you know, it's sort of the a uh, lot of you know the you know what's called uh, you know orchestra. I mean the singing, the motions and dance motion, like a lot of parts, a lot of exciting, and also the uh, it is a true story. And it's like um, one of a person. So it is called a P.T. Barnum, uh, who found the um, uh, it's like circus actually uh, Barnum and the Bailey uh, Circus. Uh, it was kind of fascinating history. It's like it started actually 1871 to 2019, almost more than the uh, 140 years, more than. So, um, unfortunately, this uh, circus actually uh, went, I mean, they uh, shut down because of financial reasons and also a lot of the animal protection, the movement, uh, protest, you know, a lot of issues. So, they had to shut down. But um, the Barnum, actually, uh, he was born as really a poor families and uh, no education opportunities. And movie actually, The Greatest Showman, um, of course, you know, changed a little bit, you know, his his life story. But uh, pretty much, uh, based on his, you know, true story, uh, they make the uh, the movie, and for the, it is called The Greatest Showman. Well, The Greatest Showman, the movie, it talks about on and on as dreams and dreams, um, and then what the one of the soundtracks it is called A Million Dreams. And a million dreams are keeping me awake. Every uh, night, my son watching this one, and then uh, when I went bad, some of the, this song is on and on in my you know, air. I mean, the uh, air in my head too. But you know, this song reminds me the dream, what I had, what I have, what I will have, regardless of age. Uh, maybe my son, the kid, or you know, young child, 
definitely needs help. A lot of people say that. Not true. You know, all the generations, younger generations, even the uh, your generation, maybe parents' generation, all different generations, we could have dream. We could have dream. Because what, you know, the, the movie talks about um, dream, a million dreams. It's like more than a thousand dreams, maybe I could say that, are keeping me and you awake, motivate you, help you to look for the future. Never, ever drop up your current plans. Um, and then the title, the main theme of the movie is never give up, never give up. Maybe um, in a poor, maybe hungry life and no future, no friends, no money. Even they're, they're so desperate for today. Maybe no time, no opportunity to think of tomorrow. Have you ever experienced this the life? You just focus on today, but you cannot imagine, you cannot think of tomorrow. What a you know, really hard, challenging life. But unfortunately, there's so many uh, people in the world, those who um, you know, just focus on maybe each meal, maybe each day, maybe just today with their family members. And this movie... Once again, the theme of movie is, what is it? Never give up. Never give up. And then, uh, you know, this main character, Barnum, Mr. Barnum, uh, he made the, you know, the, the, his dream, achieved the dream. Um, story, the, the Bible, the book of Genesis, we just read, and uh, there's a you know, famous person, you just didn't know that, Abraham. Uh, this uh, the chapter talks about Abraham's age. It's about almost 100 years. No children, unfortunately. Sarah is about 10 years apart, uh, you know, um, actually between uh, Abraham and then Sarah, which means uh, almost 90 years old. Definitely her body condition is not produced, you know, uh, have a, you know, no, you know, children. So, but they know that God promised they're going to, have baby, the children, from God. But every year, there is so anxiety, which means a desperate, worry, stressful. A lot of you know, negative words they do have because they're getting old. Body condition is getting weak. So there's a certain deadline they feel that. Deadline they made, deadline they set up. But you know, no sign you know, what is called a signal that they could have child. So one day, Abraham started to pray and a little bit complain. Why? Lord, you promised us, you give us, you're going to give us you know, children, but no sign, no child so far. Then do I have to give up? And the God said, chapter 15, I mean, 15 and verse 5, the God, he took him outside and then Show him the sky at night time. Night time. Look up into the sky and count the stars if you can. If you can. That's how many descendants you will have. If you go to the uh, maybe Jirisan, any uh, you know the places like maybe countryside. I still remember when I was in the States, the um, the Grand Canyon area, night time, like after midnight. After sun goes down, a pretty dark night, oh my goodness, I never thought that I, there are so many stars, so many beautiful, you know, like stars, I could see even galaxy on the, you know, the, in, the, in the sky, and then it's countless, countless, I'm pretty sure Abraham's time, age, you know, that that time is a better, you know, air condition, maybe environment. The more, the clearly he watched the so many uncountless, um, countless the uh, stars, you know, in the sky. And then what the Bible mentioned that here, Abraham believed the Lord, and the Lord counted him as righteous because of his faith. Abraham, he was not able to count the stars, each single, but he believed what the Lord mentioned and promised to his family. He's going to have a baby. He's going to have a child. 
in with what age? 100 years old. What the Bible said, because of what? His faith. The faith never changed, never a doubt, never ever say no. It's like all the time yes. Let me ask this question, guys. What is your dream in your life? Once again, you as a student, you as a teacher, you as a parent, you as a just you know, maybe younger person, older person, you know, just in any situation, any age, do you have a dream? Now, what kind of dream do you have? If you don't have, why you don't have a dream? You need to ask this question. Doesn't matter about the size, doesn't matter about the goal, doesn't matter about the, how big focus on yourself. Dream, just dream, you know, for your life, for your God, for your families, for your friends, the community you belong, the life you are living, your pursue. Next question is this one. What is your goal in 2021 summer Juniper School season and enrichment? Once again, what is your goal in 2021 summer Juniper School season and enrichment? This summer school, we call not camp anymore, is no longer to call be, I mean, being called as the uh, summer uh, camp, but uh, summer school and winter school. Why? Because bridge program, which means before you move on the fall semester, you're trying to be shaped academically and spiritually. This summer school, you're going to go through a lot of you know, activity programs, maybe sometimes fun activities, the science, sports, open nature, and also, you know, arts. A lot of programs you're going to do that. And then also enrichment programs, which means a lot of, you know, tests. You know, academic tests, some, you know, uh, ability, you know, tests. A lot of programs you're going to go through. Guess what? Each uh, program is not easy. Sometimes easy and fun, really fascinating, and sometimes really, really uh, super, uh, you know, like exciting. But on the other hand, some parts, you may go through the conflict between you and your friends, conflict uh, between you and your the teachers, and also yourself as well. And also another issue, probably you've been stressful maybe because of a lot of goals, a lot of targets, especially college kids, I mean high school students, maybe not, you know, now become the ninth grader or 10th grader, 11, 12th graders, more think of the future. Maybe uh, middle school, sixth to uh, eighth graders, elementary school too. So, uh, you know, as long as you grow up, you know, somehow you may have gold and then it may have you a lot of stress and maybe like some, you know, conflict. But I want to encourage you guys through this time, this program, this summer school, our job, school, this program's, you know, main purpose, the goal is to what? Is to uh, support you shape you to be stronger faithfully and academically when you face any challenges do not give up what the bible said when you face any difficulties do not you know give give up but what lean on our god and listen his wisdom he's going to give you the wisdom and he's going to give you comfort and peace and he's going to give you what, what is called strength that uh, you're going to get overcome. And you're going to confess, my Lord, he has done for my life and all the help me to, you know, get overcome all the you know, problems. For the next 10 days, it will be super fun, exciting. So let's get together and let's have a good time. And then meaningful time, let's grow up spiritually, academically, and glorify our Jesus Christ. Let's pray. ahead. Jesus, we uh, thank you so much for today. I know um, in COVID-19, uh, in the uh, midst of the COVID-19, we are gathering together. Please uh, protect us from all the dangerous situations. Regardless of the level four and five or whatever, we trying to make this um, campus as a safe, most safe place. And the Lord also, all students here and teachers, parents, those who are um, also participating on this program, please be with them, give them your protection. And then also the, um, give them your strong body conditions. Lord, also, we'd like to ask you the wisdom, knowledge, 
uh, when we uh, learn and also study and also gain more knowledge, it will be used for your glory. And also a lot of activity programs, uh, please uh, also provide uh, once again the more the, in the most pe peaceful and safe the places that uh, we could enjoy and have a good time together, bonding time with our friends and teachers. For the next 10 days, uh, once again, we're going to experience and count your guidance and your protection. And thank you so much for our parents, their support, and also their prayers, and also their guidance as well. And also, the, thank you so much for our teachers, staff members, who, who's been uh, working, preparing with their hearts, and then, you know, their best and for this uh, summer school as well. Thank you so much, uh, your blessing. I pray in Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>